All right. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. Welcome to Splatoon 2. We're going to be doing an any percent run today. Uh, but before we get started, we need to select what kind of character we want to play. I, I, I think the audience could help with that, honestly. Yeah. I, I got two choices, too. Two good ones. We can either go with girl with emo hair or boy with slick hair. At least that's what I call it. Yeah. If you want to see girl with emo hair, give us a holler. All right. How about boy with slick hair? Ooh, what do you think? That was kind of close. That was close. <laughs> One more time. Girl with emo hair. <laughs> boy with slick hair. I'm, th I'm thinking girl with... I, I think it goes um, to yeah. girl. All right. All right. <laughs> girl with emo hair it is. All right. I'll hit your button for you. <laughs> All right. We can get started with the run in three, two, one, go. All right, so my name is Open Master Ozzy. I've been running this game for six years now. Uh, I, I pretty much run everything Splatoon related. I've done all the games, almost every category, but this is definitely one of my strongest runs, so I'm very excited to show it off today. But I'm not going to be here alone. I am with... Hi, uh, I'm King KingJO444. I run all the Splatoon games. Uh, this is the one I run the least, uh, so <laughs> that's great. Um, I mainly run Splatoon 1. Um, but, and, uh, I, I, I've dabbled in all of them, and I know a fair bit about all of them, so here we are. And I'm excited to see this run. Uh, first skip right off the bat, right there, just jumped over the box, skipped about, like, half of the tutorial. Yeah, so, yeah. most of it. So, we're not, we're not messing around here, we're getting to skips right away. But, of course, we do have a couple minutes of just introduction and stuff. Because we are starting on a new file, and we're going to basically play through the single care uh, single player campaign of uh, Splatoon 2 Hero Mode. Uh, we're not going to be getting into the Aqua Expansion unless we meet the OE Boss Rush incentive. So you guys should definitely uh, donate for that so we can see more content. Um, so yeah, while we're going through introductions, we just got some mesh in here through the news and it's just introducing us everything. Uh, the run is pretty simple. There are five worlds in the uh, Hero Mode campaign and each world has a boss. As soon as we complete the boss, it unlocks the next world. And what makes this campaign unique compared to other campaigns in uh, the Splatoon games is that this is actually the only any percent category where we do not skip any levels. We play every single level in the game. Uh, for other games, we can skip a world or a certain amount of levels, but this is the only any percent campaign where we leave no level behind. Yeah, there there was some dabbling into maybe skipping World Three, but like it it quickly was not <laughs> possible. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually like a fairly glitch-free run. There are definitely a couple notable ones that we'll get into later on, um, but a lot of this run is basically just a very precise movement, uh, very careful um, uh, precision and cutting corners and all that. A lot of small time saves everywhere, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whenever we have the ability to cut a corner or save time, you know, we take it. But it's very it's very movement-based, and that's kind of what I, uh, one of the things that I like about this run. We're also playing in Spanish. Uh, that is the, the fastest language. Um, it doesn't save as much time as, some, like, Splatoon 1, because Splatoon 1, you have to, like, the text scrolls. This, you just mash through it, but it is, it is slightly faster. Yeah, Spanish saves about uh, seven seconds compared to English. And it's mostly just due to text boxes. We just get less, uh, a couple less text boxes in some places, which doesn't save too much, but it does add up. So yeah, okay. the oh sorry, go ahead. No, it's, it's okay. You go <laughs> I was just gonna say, so the first world here, uh, we're getting right into the um, into the campaign now. Um, the first world has three levels and then a boss. Uh, every other world after that is gonna have six levels and then a boss. Uh, but this one, they just kind of ease you into it, and then each world is gonna get more and more complex uh, on finding uh, all the levels because they are invisible when you first enter. Yeah, I was gonna talk about the story, but I think what you said is a lot more interesting than what I had to say. <laughs> the story, the story is pretty interesting in Splatoon. I'm not a lore enthusiast, but <laughs> I mean, you know, the great Zephyr was stolen. We gotta go rescue it, yada yada. But you know, we're, we're I'm an expert. Oh yeah, and something now. about Callie being missing. You know, the usual. Yeah, <laughs> beat DJ Octavio, all the good stuff. Uh, right. Also, the, the, the level one hero shot sucks. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna see that right here. <laughs> so the, yeah, the the main gun that we use at the beginning, uh, we'll we'll be using other weapons later on, but um, we're starting off with the the hero shot, and uh, 
You can upgrade weapons in this uh, in this hero mode, uh, just like in Splatoon 1. But uh, they, for some reason, they really wanted to emphasize upgrades and how important they are. So they make the level one hero shot very slow, and it's very noticeable, so, um, noticeable at the beginning. Yeah, so I really have to space uh, my shots out as best as I possibly can. Um, which oh. can suck for yeah. something like that. Yeah. Because <laughs> then you, you miss a shot, and then you can't get up a ledge, and then you fall down, and you lose time. Yeah, we can we can do these levels in any order as well. Uh, so we're starting with level two uh, instead of level one. There's a nice little skip here. Um, just jump down here instead of climbing over the wall. Yeah, it's funny because there's a section like that in Splatoon 1, and it's actually faster to just go up the ledge in that game. But for this game, you go down uh, and take the super jump pad. Yeah. Pretty interesting. And here we have our first special, the uh, the splashdown. We're gonna use it to uh, get rid of these enemies really quick. The well placed one there. Here I have to kill a couple ones, and then I can do another splashdown. Nice, cool. Uh, another really cool jump coming up here that's gonna skip like a little bit of a corner cut here. Like we said, everything counts in this. <laughs> it's a lot of optimizing, so that jump there is about like I think three seconds or something like that. Yeah, just a little section. You're yeah. gonna see a lot of little skips like that where you just kind of skip tiny little sections. Oh, no bonk. Good. <laughs> yeah. It's very nice to, not to be bonked there. And that's the first level done. Nice. Alright, not too bad. The other, the other good thing too about Splatoon 2 uh, compared to uh, like Splatoon 1, you get IL, uh, uh, get an IL timer at the end. So we can actually tell how, how good Oboe is doing compared to how uh, he has done on other runs as well. So you get to criticize me critically. Yes. <laughs> Except I don't know what good or time, bad times in this is, so I'll let you criticize uh, yourself. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll never tell you. <laughs> I think the, uh, the easy way to know is that was an excellent time. Right? Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Look, uh, it, I, I it all that was a world by record, by the way. It all oh, matters really? about your yeah. acting, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> depending on uh, what a good time to us is or bad. So this this level has actually a couple like pretty cool skips in it. Um, uh, coming up, we're gonna have uh, what I like to call a box jump, <laughs> where you you jump off a box. Is that what you do? Yeah, I know. I, oh, I'm wait. really good at naming things. Um, it, it's a gift, honestly. <laughs> nice making that cycle there. This level does have uh, global cycles when we enter the level, so everything's moving. Here's box jump. Nice. <laughs> And uh, here's a damage boost right here. Uh, this was oh you oh you didn't yeah, go yeah right. usually usually it's better to uh, to go th uh, you can you could damage boost though those ink columns yeah. but I was a bit late on the cycle and um, if you uh, if, if if you're unlucky it can actually knock you off and you have to go back and try again so I played it a bit safe there yeah when the when they moved on from Splatoon one they actually added uh, the fact that when you lose your health you don't die immediately you actually lose your armor. So you move slower, um, and it basically gives you uh, one last chance uh, to survive. So we actually abuse that sometimes, because <laughs> we're speedrunners. I mean, the point of speedrunning is to go fast. I think I have that right. I think you got it down. I, yeah. I think we're doing that pretty well so far. <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty decent time. Also, uh, we didn't mention this before, but you open, you unlocked level one, but you didn't go inside of it. That's so we can super jump back to it right now. Uh, that's going to be a key part of later worlds. Um, whether it's uh, just unlock stuff uh, and then super jump to it later, uh, sometimes we're going to unlock stuff that we can't even reach uh, and skip the actual uh, travel to there. Yeah, even if you haven't physically been to the level, you can still super jump to it via menuing if uh, if you unlock it. Yeah, so using bombs and like um, far shots from weapons is going to be very key to that. <laughs> Uh, this is a that jump right there is a little easier <laughs> said than done sometimes. It, it's a bit sketchy because you, you know you don't want to mess it up. Otherwise, I think you lose ten seconds. Yeah, you don't want to miss the lip, <laughs> like yeah. accidentally hit the lip of the of the edge there. This and is this, level one. This is a yeah. pretty good for like kind of showcasing the the movement I'm doing. Uh, a lot of times they're gonna see me throw a bomb in front of me, uh, so to kind of like preemptively ink some of the floor just to save me a few shots. Also, we have the best box in the world right here. Ah, uh, yes, my favorite box. This is why I call the fun box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's just so much fun. It is. 
Got hit at least like six times. <laughs> I'm also throw a bomb right there to destroy these boxes. Yeah, they would each, I think, take two or three hits. Um, yeah, because it's just so yeah. slow on the level one hero shot. Yeah, we so we're getting upgrades in the game. Um, in order to upgrade anything, you need to, one, you need to have the, the eggs needed and also the sardinium, uh, which are collectibles. And then two, you actually have to launch back to world one. Uh, and the worlds aren't connected like in Splatoon 1. They have loading screens in between them. So you really have to decide if what you're going to upgrade is worth jumping back for. Uh, so we, upda we upgrade things twice in this run. Uh, and the hero shot, we do upgrade at the very end. Yeah, because unfortunately, um, upgrades are, yeah, like you said, extremely expensive uh, in this game. So, And you also have to... You can only upgrade things in World 1. Which, uh, yeah, that also makes it hard, too. Yeah. Alright, a little sloppy, but not too bad. Yeah. What do you mean? That was amazing. You didn't mess up at all. <laughs> I mean, you guys don't know what time exactly. to get so I can totally fool you into thinking this run is on world record pace. You wouldn't even know. I oh my believe. god, this one is on world record pace? That's incredible. <laughs> Am I hearing this is world record pace? <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> all right, so we're moving into the uh, first boss fight here. Uh, so... This is something pretty cool that doesn't exist in any other Split 2 campaign <laughs> except for this one. Uh, when we're going to launch into the, the the fight here, normally a cutscene would play, we're going to restart the fight, and then the game's going to think that we already watched that cutscene, and we're going to get to skip the first one. Uh, it saves like 20 seconds or something like That's that. That's right. One, yeah. And this is uh, Octoweven, the most unique Splatoon fight I've seen in a <laughs> like ever. <laughs> it's certainly very peculiar. <laughs> and it also has so many good red puns. We don't get to see any of them uh, because they are in <laughs> Spanish because we weren't ready for them. Actually, that's not true, though. Th there is a... See, Pantastico. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> see? Because pan is bread. Uh, so, Pantastico. It, yeah. You get it. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's definitely the sort of thing you want to see in a, in a life and death situation. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean, you really uh -huh. did toast me with that one, so. <laughs> Ooh. I wasn't ready for that. I, I, I said that before and you didn't laugh at it. <laughs> oh, sorry, I didn't hear. I, I wasted my joke. I only get three of those in this run. <laughs> uh, while we finish this up, we do have to go through uh, another phase. If you want to read a donation, you can go ahead. All right, fantastic. So uh, thank you very much. We have a donation from uh, Prawn Tricycle Bingo, who donated $10 and uh, put that towards the Super Princess Peach Princess Peach cosplay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we had a uh, $5 donation from Woomi, uh, who says, um, which Splatfest team did you choose this weekend? And did you get to rule Ozzy? Also, uh, hail Kali, my beloved. <laughs> I don't think we played oh, Splatfest. Okay, I, I have a confession to make. I was not able to play the Splatfest because I've been no. kind of busy at ESA. <laughs> but if I did, I think I would have chosen Friday. I would have chosen Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Friday's good. That, it's a close second. Okay. And uh, finally, we have a $22.22 donation from Adept CS. Thank you very much for that. Hey. That's gone towards the uh, Extreme Measures 4 target for Hades with the comment... Wishing the best of luck for Bestie Oboe. May the Octo Seeker be corporate, the key be skipped, and the Octavio RNG not leave you shivering in disappointment. Just stick to what you know, and the motions will feel natural. Also, hi, Joey. No, oh, hi, Adept. <laughs> Shoutouts to Adept. Uh, I am a very uh, pro uh, non-motion control speedrunner of this game in this series, uh, which is frowned upon by most people and uh, most... Runners use motion control like Obo is doing. Uh, uh, me and Adept are like the only <laughs> sticks runners. <laughs> so that's World 1. Uh, as you saw there at the end, Obo uh, waited to grab Zapfish. That was so we can actually get those orbs. We need them. We need a total of 500 uh, by like halfway through World 2 to unlock curling bombs. And we also grabbed the Sardinium from that boss as well. Yeah, you got 50 power eggs every time you complete a boss. Um, that's the only time when I'll actually wait to collect those eggs because those 50 power eggs are very crucial to me getting uh, 500 eggs. Because uh, we need to get there by the second to last level of World 2. And now we're going to get to uh, uh, like a, a very often way to unlock bombs, uh, uh, to unlock levels is with bombs. Uh, so we're going to throw them up here, not even go up there, and now we can launch to it. 
Yeah, we're going to do that quite a bit throughout the run. Yeah. So now we get to the real uh, meat and potatoes of Splatoon 2. Uh, Nintendo wanted to be special. Uh, <laughs> after they did um, the Amiibo challenges in Splatoon 1 where you played through the campaign with different weapons, they were like, let's do that in the actual campaign. Uh, so we're here now using the roller. Um, there is every level from now on, except for one level for worlds, uh, will require us to use a certain weapon. Um, and uh, it's whatever Sheldon picks. Uh, this one we're using the roller, uh, which is basically the same from Splatoon 1, except now you can do a vertical flick when you're uh, in the air. Uh, so that leads to um, painting a, a line straight forward, which is nice. Just got lucky with that ink pattern. Yeah, <laughs> you did. <laughs> That also makes running this game interesting because you have to not only be good at the hero shot, you have to be good at a bunch of different weapon types. <laughs> Some of them will only see once, but uh, the roller will see a couple times. Yeah, you really have to learn how to be versatile with each class of weapon because the game basically forces you to, to play all of them. Yeah. So you really got to kind of learn the ins and outs. You see, I'm definitely use, using vertical flicks a lot, so I'm yeah, very, very glad that, uh, <laughs> that became a feature. Because if you've ever played uh, Splatoon 1's Boy Amiibo speedrun, that one is... Uh, the worst it's, category. It's, yeah, it's <laughs> not easy without the vertical flick. And we're almost at the end here. We just got a little bit of a stretch. Uh, we do have these... I don't know what they're even called, but these is like roller guys that are throwing these things at us. Uh, we just throw them right back with ink. I think they're octo hurlers. Is that, is that what they're called? Okay. <laughs> I don't know the actual term. Because they, you know. Burl. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good level, by the way. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, the, because the his roller is not an automatic weapon. When it comes to non-automatic weapons, those are a bit harder to uh, use movement-wise because you really have to space your, your quote-unquote shots. Yeah. We're going to unlock a limit level here. We're not going to do it right away because we want curling bombs for this. Uh, so we're going to wait till we get those. Oh, oh, I ran out of ink. OK, you're good. All right, we're good. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah the... Sometimes if I don't recharge my ink quickly enough, then yeah. I can get a bit unlucky and lose ink there. Uh, the other thing that happened there, uh, once you play a level uh, with a weapon, uh, you unlock that weapon. Uh, to use in the overworld and any levels that you have free choice in. Uh, so that would be one level per world, which are the Octoling levels. Um, and that's very important for later because uh, most of the Octoling levels, actually all the Octoling levels, uh, people prefer to do that with the dualies, which we'll see later. Uh, so we're going to wait till we uh, <laughs> get the dualies so we, so we can do the Octoling level <laughs> and be faster with it. I like to call these the fruit roll-ups. Because that's what they are. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be like octo rolls or something like that. I, there's not an official name for them, but I don't use it. I think they're called octo furlers. Oh, fair. Yeah, I know all the terminologies because I'm a huge <laughs> nerd and stuff. Oh, yeah, I they, saw that. They roll out when you shoot them with your ink, and they uh, roll back when enemy hits, uh, hits them. Yeah, that's that's their whole gimmick, basically. Yeah. This is also the time when I'm starting to keep a close eye on my egg counter. Yeah, again, we need to be at 500 after, I think, the next level, right? Uh, no, the level after that. Oh, level that. after, yeah. Oh, I and did that again. Come on! There yeah, the, 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 hitting all the stuff there can be a little weird. <laughs> yeah, the, the ink shot is a bit wonky because you have to abide by physics or whatever because it angles down. Yeah. Not only that, if you like use the motion controls and fire it like during it, it it'll like go with your movement kind of a little bit. So a little yeah, bit, yeah. It that's also something you got to watch out for. So you're not like like moving it around too rapidly. <laughs> uh, right here, we're gonna unlock uh, three weapons, uh, three weapons, three levels at the same time here. Um, again, we're only gonna enter one of them uh, for now. Because, uh, again, the, uh, this one that we're sitting in front of right now is very good with curling bombs. Um, but, yeah, we're just going to open them up because we might as well. And now we get to, uh, I, again, when new runners run this game, this is one they probably struggle with is using the sniper. <laughs> so this one's very 
very hard to get the hang of. Yeah, the sniper or the, the charger is uh, yeah, it's the most precise weapon in the game, so any time we're forced to use it, uh, you can guarantee it's going to be a very precise level. This one's not too bad, it's just kind of introducing you to these um, grappling hooks there. As soon as you shoot them, it takes you to them. There is some fun ways we get to use grappling hooks in this run. Yeah. And we'll see one later in this level. Yeah, at the, at, the, at the end of it, and actually one coming up. Like that angle. Yeah, fair. <laughs> We're gonna skip one there by just going up like that. We're gonna hit that balloon just so we get extra orbs. Yeah, that's kind of a safety balloon. But I'm doing decent on power eggs. Yeah. Alright, so right here we're gonna go on this railing and jump, and you can barely hit this one. Come on. There it oh, oh, oh I thought that was it. There, there we go. We okay. go. <laughs> that skips a couple yeah, of them. <laughs> barely uh, enough height there. And uh, we grab that stingray, and that's going to be very important for later. Nope. So uh, the skip coming up at the end of this level, this was actually found out that this was possible because of Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo tweeted out a, a developer speedrun of this level when the game released, and uh, they showed that you can um, use the Stingray to uh, latch onto those um, uh, those targets that you hit to to grapple over to. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so. Uh, Basically, yeah, thank you, Nintendo, for teaching us that we could do that. <laughs> and giving us a skip <laughs> that saves, like, a good 30 seconds. <laughs> it's always a delightful surprise when Nintendo actually shows us ways that they can break their games. Yeah, and then they try to patch out everything in modern games. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a whole nother story. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Splatoon 3. <laughs> Alright, so here's a lot of people's favorite weapon type. <laughs> Duelies. Duelies are pretty fun to use. Uh, this is level where I need to have 500 by the end, but yeah. there's a lot of power eggs in this level, so... Not only do we need the 500, uh, we also need to grab the, the hidden Sardinium in this one. Uh, we got the one of uh, one from the boss fight in World 1, uh, but we need two to unlock curling bombs. And uh, right here's a little bit of a tight jump. Okay, I thought that was good. <laughs> We're doing fine. We're doing fine. I was a little worried there. <laughs> That's tight too because like you have to worry about the angle that you jump off the railing so you can make sure you actually hit the other one. <laughs> and then right here we're also going to do uh, another interesting jump here up to the top. Nice. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Don't <laughs> oh, don't do no, dodge we're good. off. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> and uh, yeah, a dodge rolling with the dualies um, on the railing saves like a little bit of time each, uh, each time we do it. And going out of our way here to get the Sardinium, as I mentioned before. <laughs> yeah, the reason why we get in this level is because it's only slightly off to the side. It's not completely yeah, no. out of the way or anything. Oh yeah, oh, we're actually we're great on power eggs. Actually, I don't. Need yeah, no, we are, we are way ahead. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's a box coming up that gives us ten. We don't need it. Like yeah. we're, we're good. But I'd rather be over than under. Yeah, that's for definitely. sure. Especially in a marathon setting. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> if I didn't have enough power eggs, we would be in huge trouble. We'd be. We're re re playing a level. <laughs> yeah. Because there's not much power eggs in the overworld. Yeah. And you may be like, oh my god, we're, we're under. We don't have 500. We're going to get 10 extra here. <laughs> don't worry. We thought ahead. <laughs> yeah, it gives you 10 power eggs for some reason. If you end the level with a special or an extra pair of uh, an extra armor, it'll give you 10 eggs. But we didn't end that level with uh, either of those. But it gives you 10 eggs anyway. Yeah. The tent is just generous. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, once again, we have to jump all the way back to section one to upgrade stuff. And so it is a little bit more of a time process uh, to do that, <laughs> to, to get upgrades than in any of the other Splatoon games. Um, but it, I, it, that's why you really have to pick and choose what's worth it. But now we got curling bombs and that is going to be insanely helpful. The rest of the run, you're gonna yeah. see me use curling bombs a lot. Yeah, so curling bombs, they uh, they're kind of like seekers in Splatoon One, uh, where they just go, um, and it, like they leave a trail of ink behind uh, them, and they can also bounce off walls in this game. Uh, so that's gonna be very good for <laughs> leaving a path that Oboe can take. 
especially through enemy ink as well. So this is uh, our first Octoling level. We can choose what weapon we uh, we bring into this level. Um, and not only that, uh, these are also all on um, levels uh, and maps from the uh, the online multiplayer. So this is this is the reef. <laughs> And there's one of these per uh, per world. Oh gosh, that's a little worrying. <laughs> Octolanes are not being nice to me today. Okay, we're we're good. <laughs> we're fine. We're fine. You scared me a little. When you when you break your armor, I think it's like one or two shots after you will die immediately. <laughs> so. Yeah. That's right. We made it through. And then we got harder octane levels to deal with. Yeah, that that was the easiest one. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> So that does if they're not playing well. nice now, that doesn't bode well for later. <laughs> no. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah. Now, this level is very important that we have curling bombs for, for the end. <laughs> um, specifically, because uh, we're going to be introduced to uh, love them or hate them, the squeegees. Um, they kind of react to um, either our ink but more likely uh, the sound of the bombs that we uh, send out. So if we have curling bombs, it's more likely that they'll fall for a longer period of time because it just goes on a straight line and it's out for longer than uh, a regular bomb. And it makes the end section just so much faster. <laughs> yeah, Squeegee's behavior is extremely sporadic, uh, very random, but luckily we can manipulate them with uh, curling bombs. So that's why having them in this level is absolutely crucial. Yeah. Oh, I was worried I was going to miss that jump there. Yeah, <laughs> just like ignoring pathways, they're optional. <laughs> yeah, so right here is where we start seeing like, yeah, we're, they want us to ride these squeegees. Yeah, so, so that, that was pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, there, sometimes the Octobomber can throw a bomb early and distract that squeegee so it doesn't get to the platform that I wanted to go. Yeah. But thankfully, that didn't happen. Uh, I tried to throw that bomb to to kill that enemy up there. Yeah, we had to go out of our way to get this key. <laughs> yeah, look, sometimes that tiny little squeegee will be a bit of a nuisance. Yeah, the Can squeegees... Just jump around uh, this guy? They were also in uh, Splatoon 1, but we didn't have the giant ones. <laughs> so yeah. It's new to this, this one. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a bomb here so I can get this key. Yeah, and so this, this is specifically oh, where nice. we want the curling bombs, because as you can see, it's a long stretch and we have to ride the squeegee and enemies are shooting at us. So we don't want them to get distracted. Uh, and that was very good. <laughs> that worked out really well. Nice. That was a Not very bad. good level. Yeah, yeah that, that one is very annoying when you start off running this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of annoying, uh, the next boss fight <laughs> exists. Uh, that's even more <laughs> yeah. annoying, even to pro runners. Yeah, welcome to Octo Samurai. Uh, probably like a lot of people's least favorite boss fight, if, uh, specifically in the speedrun. It's certainly cool looking, but it is extremely cool annoying. Oh yeah, it is. But uh, we have to use the roller. And fun fact, in Spanish, it's actually called Rodillo. Shout out to Rodillo, yeah, shout the to Rodillo. Mario speedrunner. He's actually coming tomorrow to ESA. <laughs> we were talking about maybe getting him on couch when he knows nothing about Splatoon 2, just so we can be like, hey, it's you. <laughs> but because the roller is uh, a, a fairly slow weapon when it comes to fire rate, um, that's what... Uh, makes using this weapon so annoying because this is one of the only boss where fire rate is absolutely crucial. Yeah, so when you play this boss, you can replay levels with any weapon, uh, like after you've beaten it for the first time. And when you play this God. with any weapon other than the roller, it's a breeze. <laughs> it's it's actually hilarious how fast it is. There's a there's a category um, that Obo and I run that's way too long. It's called 1,000%. Uh, that's not a joke. Uh, <laughs> it's where you beat uh, every level, collect every uh, collectible, and also uh, beat every level with all the weapons. Uh, there are nine weapons, so you beat every level nine times. Uh, and it's like 12 hours long. <laughs> like. Yeah, and you basically have to replay the game nine times. Yeah, and this boss is really annoying when you play with the, the roller, but when you play with every other weapon, it just... It's so much it's faster. So easy. <laughs> Maybe you, the Brella is a little annoying, but not too bad. 
compared no, to like, you. Compared to you literally just hold fire, and then that's it. Yeah. <laughs> But pretty good fight so far. Um, trying to get the best quick kills again. I was able to get a quick kill in the phase one as well, because phase one I'd say is the hardest. Yeah. Phase one is definitely the hardest. Uh, there's also the instance you don't want him to do a move where like he kind of uses his ink like a vacuum, like his roller. Uh, that that does waste a lot of time. <laughs> but if you if you get rid of him fast enough, then he doesn't do it. Nice. That was very good. That was close. I was almost out of ink. You were there. very close. <laughs> but Nice. That was that All was right. a very good one. Yeah, that's much harder to to do fast. So uh, in between the worlds, we have cutscenes. Uh, we also have to launch the next world. So now's a good time for some more donations. If you want to go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Um, we do have a five dollar donation from Moxie K. Moxie. Um, so thank you very much, Moxie. Um, has left the comments here to drop my mandatory five dollar donation to some tune. And I have a question for Obo and Joey. As I can't seem to remember, what's up with Shiver's Boss Arena again? <laughs> really though, good luck to Obo, Joey, and all other runners raising money for a good cause. Thank Shout you very much. <laughs> Shout out to Shipper Skip. <laughs> well, that's in Splatoon 3. Yeah. <laughs> Have you seen which game we're playing? I think we're, we've mentioned something from every Splatoon game now. We've, we've done one that was three. We did Octo Expansion before. <laughs> we're hitting all the bases. Well, also, we're getting a new one next week. That is Side true. Order. Side Order is coming out on the 22nd. Uh, I won't play it until the 25th when I get home. <laughs> I'll play, play on the plane red ride. Right? That's fair. <laughs> Back. Yeah. All right, uh, so now we're in World Three. World Three uh, sucks. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Uh, world Three is definitely the most reset heavy uh, of them all, just because every lo uh, level offers a very unique challenge. Uh, starting has, right uh, away with uh, out of the gate. Oh one. yeah. It also has the the most recent and biggest skip in Splatoon Two that is also very difficult. <laughs> yeah, we'll, so we'll get to that. We will get minute. to that in a few levels. <laughs> For now, this is level 11. This is a uh, quite a gauntlet of level. We got a lot of these yeah. enemies called Tenakooks. They uh, run away from you, and, but we need them because they're carrying keys. Just tank I, that bomb. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm in a hurry. <laughs> we have places to be. <laughs> Don't so, attack for avoiding bombs, honestly. Well, why would we avoid bombs when we can just run into them? <laughs> So the best way to fight these guys is either like to catch up with them and just shoot them down. Uh, but usually you'll see us throw a bomb in front of them to distract them. They get scared of them. Um, so yeah, usually just trying to manipulate them. Uh, right there, there's two of them. Only one of them is a key. We know which one has the key. They're they're always going to start in the same spots. Uh, right here is rail skip or. Yeah, fence top. Fin top. Yeah, there we go. That is way <laughs> harder than he made it look. <laughs> that, that is, you have to do like three precise inputs like, yeah. at the exact right time. So. But no, Obo just yeah. makes it look like it's absolutely nothing at all. I'm actually kind of stoked. I got a first try to you be You got a first honest. try in practice too. Yeah. You, just, you can't stop this man. <laughs> in fairness, that jump looks genuinely looks quite free. Yeah, it does look free. <laughs> do you want to try it? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Just having the control. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Very yeah, nice. The, that quick kill there is probably the hardest. It's also the most important because if you don't, he'll go on like a world trip. <laughs> yeah, and you lose like 20 He'll go seconds. to seven continents. <laughs> and there's a little skip here as well, jumping off the corner. There we go. Nice. That's also a little tighter than he okay. made it. Yeah. That one did not look free. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually more free than the other one. <laughs> That's the true skill of, of the, the true, That's how you know you're a good runner when everybody thinks that what you're doing is free when it's not. That's what we speedrunners do. Exactly. You make the impossible look casual. Exactly. And doing that in just around two minutes, very good. <laughs> yeah, because that's the first level of World 3, that's... That's just a tone. Oh, I, I've had so many <laughs> runs die to that level. Okay, so now we have to see this wonderful RNG. Is Marie going to be here? <laughs> oh, she is. Oh, she is. Okay, so All right. let's see if she I'm knocks gonna... us off the edge. <laughs> no, she didn't. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. So uh, Marie can spawn there sometimes. It's kind of random if she spawns there. And there's wonderful clips of runners getting pushed off by her, off the edge, uh, because they shoot her and she, uh, she opens her umbrella and her hitbox gets bigger. <laughs> uh, so now... I think this is probably the most polarizing weapon. It's 
it's one of them. It's either this or the brush, honestly. Uh, but this is the uh, the Splatling gun, um, and this is a very unique gun. You have to like very much optimize how long you're holding uh, down the trigger for to charge it up, uh, so that you know you can have enough to to ink up the walls in the spaces that you need. And it also has really good range, so we're gonna abuse that as always, <laughs> like we did with the with the charger earlier. <laughs> Oh, I mean, every single weapon, we, we, we're we going to see every single feature of every weapon. Exactly, yeah. Uh, right here with a full charge, you have just enough to fully uh, spin that wheel and also ink up that entire wall. So that works out very well. Yeah, and then we can uh, get up all these platforms without having to shoot that switch again. Yeah, once again, you can just see how good curling bombs are with, <laughs> with perfectly inking a space for us to go. And right there, too. Yeah, exactly. We're able to right here, we're going to be jumping higher. off the edge to hit that. <laughs> skipping uh, skipping one of the platforms. Uh, these are my favorite enemies. And by favorite, I mean my my enemies from Splatoon 1. <laughs> uh, these, uh, these are Flutters. Thankfully, we don't see too many of them. When we do see them in Splatoon 2, they're in very uh, concealed areas. So uh, thankfully, nothing horrible they're not in open spaces like in, in splat one <laughs> yeah they're not in an entire maze like structure <laughs> yeah exactly and uh we're almost at the end here once again we're going to do another uh uh oh i did not like that set up there. here so we can skip having to actually do the intended way there we go nice <laughs> And jumping off the edge here. Okay, that one's a little worrying. <laughs> that one's a little scary because that's not completely up to Obo if he hits that. Uh, now's a good time to talk about shot RNG. Yeah. Uh, every time Obo shoots a shot, uh, it's not guaranteed to go where the reticle is. Uh, as you can see when we're going to aim towards the next level here, uh, there's a wider reticle. And that means that the shots can go anywhere in that reticle. Uh, so... He kind of left it up a little bit to the game there on if he was going to make that skip. <laughs> yeah, the only weapon that has a 100% non-RNG uh, shot is the Charger, yeah. obviously. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> but every other weapon has some form of shot RNG. Uh, next uh, Octoling level here. Uh, again, this one's... All these are really quick. They're like 30 to 1 minute at max. So. I mean, the longest one's about 50 seconds. Yeah. Oh, it's too long. <laughs> oh, so too long for my attention span. <laughs> and got to make sure we don't get trolled here by these guys. Yeah, these Octolanes can be absolutely relentless sometimes. I think this is probably my least favorite one, even though it's not the hardest. I do think it's I think it's up there. It's it's definitely one of the more annoying ones because they can really get in your way. Like this guy. Oh, that <laughs> I'm actually surprised that guy. You almost got armor your there. armor broken, yeah. Chess of those boxes that just spawn when you ink near them. <laughs> All right, so now uh, I'm trying to remember what the next level is. <laughs> I 100% I forgot, but we're good. <laughs> uh, level 12 is gonna be the the bounce pad one. Oh uh, yeah. I want to get to that right over here. I was like, is is the next level the one I'm thinking of? No, it's the level after. No, it's the one after. We're, we're getting. We to we it. have some time to breathe. <laughs> this level is cool because um, the bounce pads. Um, you can just bounce on them as a as a as a human, but as a squid, if you get a little bit of speed and then bounce onto them, uh, and jump onto them, you can keep your momentum a little bit. So we'll be seeing that, and uh, keeping our momentum is gonna save some time throughout this level. Yeah, to start, I'm gonna be kind of going onto the side here, and I'm gonna swim onto the bounce pad here to carry my momentum. There, it kind of kind of lost it a little bit because we got a little bit too much height there, but a little bit, but it's okay. Yeah, it, it, it was still it, good. It, it was still faster than just like jumping on it in a uh, kid form. Definitely, yeah. Also, and also sometimes I'm going to transform to kid so I can slow down my speed. Yeah. Because uh, I need it there so I can make sure I grab that key. Very good there, hitting that cycle. <laughs> yeah, and also right here. I can traverse that with just two jumps. Yeah. Also, another little cycle right here I'm going to make. Yeah, nice hitting right side there. Uh, oh, uh -oh. we cannot uh -oh. see. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> that is. Okay, we're uh -oh. good. <laughs> okay, okay so, sorry. We lost uh, <laughs> We lost visual for a second there. I can, and of course, I get my armor broken, so it was like the worst time. <laughs> but whatever, more content. It's all right. 
It's okay, if you blinked, we're doing this for you. <laughs> oh, and now the flutter is in the not the most optimal spot. <laughs> no, but it's all right. Yeah, normally, normally uh, we don't die there. <laughs> so that kind of threw it off a little bit, but we're good. Uh, right here, we're just going to jump to the side. They want you to bounce on the bounce pads, but no. <laughs> we don't got time for we'll that. We'll pass, actually. We're, 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 in a, we're in a bit of a rush. <laughs> we have a timer going in everything. <laughs> I think uh, we have time for a couple donations. Yeah, I was going to say, now's a good time before we get to the next level. Fantastic. So, uh, just to remind you guys, we are here for Make a Wish. We are raising uh, money. We've already raised over seven thousand dollars already. Thank you very much uh, to everyone who uh, has, and uh, you're raising money for an absolutely fantastic cause. Uh, we do also have a number of uh, incentives that you can put your money towards. Uh, so, for example, tomorrow Oki will be running Hades. Um, for those of you uh, not aware, the uh, donation incentive for that, uh, we are just over seven hundred fifty dollars away from him having to face the final. The harder version of the final boss, known as Extreme Measures 4, so uh, definitely well worth a, uh, a punt there. Uh, in addition, if you donate uh, $40 um, or more, you have the option of uh, adding a target uh, to secure yourself a lovely shirt, either the uh, goose variation being uh, helpfully displayed by our audience member there, uh, or the uh, uh, ESA winter uh, 2024 uh, standard t-shirt, um, which I believe is by, uh, drawn by Mako Doodles. Uh, so both absolutely excellent pieces of apparel that you can get while right. supporting the racing course. I'm going to have to interrupt you. Yeah, yeah. we're going to need serious time for this. I'm also going to ask for about 10 seconds of uh, silence. I'll explain this afterwards. This <laughs> Looks good. Uh, oh, he turned. Yeah, that, that bomb was a bit uh, off to the side. We, so we, I was trying to do a, a trick called Seeker Skip, by the way. This was found very recently, like three, three months, months ago, ago, and it's the biggest <laughs> skip in Splatoon 2. <laughs> so. Yeah, save is about 50 seconds. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to go for it again. <laughs> it would be awesome to show this off. This is, uh, yeah, I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, because some involve uh, audio cues. Got nice. It. Okay. <laughs> Second try is still very good. <laughs> we absolutely take those. That is still faster than doing the level normal. By the way, final checkpoint. Uh, so we <laughs> skipped the whole level, basically. There's not that many skips like that big in Splatoon 2. There's a lot of those in like other Splatoon games. Not this one. <laughs> so Yeah, it just came such of a shock to us because th this game has been, for the f first six years, relatively free of glitches. So to yeah. have a 50-second skip just come out of nowhere, it literally doubles the time for uh, the previous uh, longest skip in the yeah. game. And that is very hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> it is an extremely precise trick. You have to hit, like, 10 different cues at the exact right time. Uh, yeah. So it's very complicated, but... Second try. I'm glad we I'm got amazed. the show I'm off. happy with that. Where, where does something like that even come from? Uh, I forget who found it. I believe it was Owen. Uh, was it a, Owen? A person oh, named Owen Splat, I believe. We have to shout out Owen. Owen has found way too many things for the, uh, the Splatoon series in general, uh, specifically in three. <laughs> shout out to Owen Skip. Which, I, I'm, I'll give you one guess who found that one. <laughs> not Owen, definitely not. No. Uh, so this is the car wash. Um, after, after we... Uh, you know, dirtied ourselves up. We got to go to the car wash to clean ourselves off <laughs> with, with Seeker Skip. <laughs> and this also has a skip in it. We have the wonderful Key Skip, uh, which also is a little hard. Oh, missed the, um, missed the bomb kill get there. Get here. <laughs> it's all oh, good. Yeah. I threw that bomb just a tad bit early. Uh, so, yeah, coming up at the very end of this level uh, is, like, you normally have to go up and get a key uh, from the top of an area and fight a bunch of enemies. Uh, to unlock it, we can skip all of that by clipping a uh, um, a curling bomb into the locked box and unlocking uh, the, uh, the the ink rail that is inside. So it's also pretty precise. So uh, just two skips, one after another. Yeah, and that's why, like I said, World Three is it's, so it's difficult. Tough. <laughs> 
But yeah, it's coming up here, so give you a, a little bit more serious time here. Yeah, usually we have to climb up this garage here and get a key to unlock this box here. All right, let's see if we can get this. First try, okay. Yes. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Yes, that is like the only instance of a true clip in this game. That's also harder than he made it look. <laughs> Significantly so. Yeah, because you kind of have to flirt with death a little bit. You have to kinda <laughs> get on that ledge, jump up. Make sure you get a good jump, too, and throw that coin bomb at the right time so it'll clip through. And then you have to get on the rail, too, which is its own... Uh, precise nightmare. Yeah, it's so funny because like the, the skip before, like Seeker Skip was found th three months ago. This game's seven years old, like almost. <laughs> and it, it was found July. three months ago. <laughs> also swag little shot there. But to be fair, the Splatoon community is very good at randomly finding huge new time, time saves years later. Uh, shout out to Splatoon 1, which had a 20 minute time save found eight years after the game released. <laughs> and so... <Yeah. laughs> Uh, so yeah, next uh, we're going on to uh, the end of World 3. Um, fun fact, so there's no world skips in this game. Um, Nintendo learned their lesson from Splatoon 1 uh, and uh, made it so that each different world uh, and site uh, have their own loading zone. However, we got very, very close to possibly skipping a world. Uh, we were able to clip into the barrier uh, at the end of World 3, and we were like, awesome, we can skip the world. Like the, the, we're, we're done with this one. No, because for some reason, the launch pad doesn't exist unless you beat the boss. <laughs> so we got this close, but no cigar. Yeah, Nintendo, they, they learned their lesson. <laughs> yeah, they definitely learned their lesson. <laughs> They learned their lesson from World 4 Skip and Splatoon 1. <laughs> They're like, we're not having another one of those. But then they seemed to unlearn their lesson when it came to Splatoon 3. Because that is true. Th that game is so broken. Splatoon 3 kind of disregarded how the Splatoon uh, series went with uh, their structure and went for a more open world type feel. And that led to us being able to beat the uh, any percent with like two levels beat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so when we say this is the only one uh, that we see all the levels and we mean it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By like a long shot. Yeah. <laughs> Splatoon 1, you can now finish any percent by only beating two boss fights in nine levels. <laughs> so <laughs> Splatoon 2 is definitely the least broken of the games. Also, we didn't really explain this boss fight at all. <laughs> that is true. It's Ogda Stomp. Hi. <laughs> He's like the trademark boss fight now. In the Splatoon series, so we were talking about 1,000% earlier. Um, in the 1,000% speedrun, how many times do you fight Octostar? It's like 20, 20 plus times, I'm pretty sure. It's up to 20 at least. I mean, Octostar literally appears in every single game. Yeah. But yeah, basically, it's uh, just climb up on top of him. This, the way that he differentiates himself from Splatoon 2, he wears a nice little uh, sweater <laughs> that happens uh, to be... Uh, I, forget, I forget the actual name for it. But there's, a, there's a buckle on the front of him. You got to yeah. destroy it as quick as possible, and then you manip him so he'll... It's one of those things fast. that you wrap up food in like to keep it warm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know the actual word for it. It's not important. <laughs> it's all right. We're done with it. Moving on. Yeah, moving, moving on. <laughs> moving on from this world, we, we got through it. <laughs> we, get, we got to show off all the skips, which yep. is good. We're still in one piece. <laughs> We're still alive. Still on world record pace. Still on world record pace. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to yeah, say. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we, we, we died a couple of times, but we're still on world record pace. I so, <laughs> even if we joke about this, like even if we were on world record pace, the end of the run is RNG in a nutshell. Shh, don't so, spoil I'm it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't you mean, no, it is not. I mean, and yes. perfectly <laughs> optimized. <laughs> Nothing goes wrong. <laughs> Once again, unlocking something very far away and just disregarding it, it did not unlock. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it didn't unlock. Yeah, it didn't. Uh, I, <laughs> We're going to have to travel I, there. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I was like, I didn't hear the, the kettle noise. <laughs> yeah, Something's uh, wrong. <laughs> So we have another slasher level. This one, thankfully, is a little bit more straightforward than the last one we did. <laughs> so We still have cycles, though, that we have to deal with. Yeah, we got these rotating platforms here. Uh, the cycles are a bit forgiving. It's not like we lose 10 seconds if we don't make the right cycle. But it's just it really just a question of what kind of landscape do you want to run on. 
Yeah. And, like, to be fair, Splatoon is weird with that. Like, which... When are you going to slip off, or when are you going to be able to walk on it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that line can be a bit blurry at times. Yeah. Again, using Curly Bombs for advantage here. Let's see. I'm going to kind of go on the side of this platform plate safe. Nice. Because that's the kind of instance where you can go on that side as it's uh, uh, starting to turn upwards, but... Again, you run the risk of slipping off if you're too slow. Yeah. We should mention, by the way, like, we are collecting orbs as they're, like, right in front of us. Uh, we need 800 by the end of, uh, um, uh, by the end of World 5. And you may be like, wow, we're only at 300. We, we must not, we must be running low. Uh, we, I have never seen anybody go under, <laughs> so, like, yeah. we'll, no, we'll be good. I don't, I don't pay too much attention when it comes to, uh, getting 800 power Most eggs people that don't. we need. <laughs> Well, just because, yeah, we 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 almost never are, are short of power eggs. Yeah, you, usually you, you can literally just play the game aimlessly, and you'll you'll have enough. You'll have at least like fifty over. Yeah, that was a good level. Very good. Yeah, we didn't talk much about it, but that was a good level. <laughs> no, that's not too much. There's cycles and there's enemies, and you go fast. Yeah, that wow, that's crazy. You go fast <laughs> in levels. That's the Eight. that's my objective. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm learning so much about this game. <laughs> Tell me to go fast this one as well. Well, unfortunately, I, I have to go a bit slow here because I didn't unlock. <laughs> You're uh, fired. This, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. This is a speed run of. <laughs> Yes, at, th at this point is, is when <laughs> we're not. <laughs> World Record Race is over. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> man, we need some RNG. <laughs> man, if only there was a good place for RNG to save it. <laughs> uh, Octavio, I hope you're listening. Because <laughs> RNG only makes runs faster, right? That's totally. If yeah. you're lucky. That's the best way to look at it. We were we were doing a practice run like shortly before this, and RNG did not go that great. So we were like, this means it's going to go perfect in the run. <laughs> yeah, so that's, that's always how it works. Because because you can't have good RNG during a practice because you use it all up. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you got to use up the bad RNG before you get any good ones. <laughs> so this level right here has these uh, these bowling balls with, with Octarians in it. Um, we'll see that again in another uh, another, another level. Uh, this is the cycle that we were racing against that raising and lowering platform we want to be when it's uh I don't raised think I'm up here it. i think we should be good barely no. uh no, i just missed it barely missed it uh but yeah that loses about like five to five to seven seconds because you have to wait for it again yeah i had a bit of a d-pad moment at the beginning of the level yeah you got a lot of d-pad moments when you're switching uh sub weapons yeah, right here we're, there's this giant bowling ball we're just gonna say bye to that <laughs> Uh, another nice little corner cut here. He's supposed to climb up and around, but we can just jump like that. We're gonna, oh, nice <laughs> dodge. <laughs> Playing a little close there. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, yeah, he's he's there now. <laughs> Again, okay. we're used to much different cycles at the end here. <laughs> yeah, I had to kind of improvise there a little bit. <laughs> but it's all right. We made it. Still got a 135. <laughs> uh, yeah, World... Uh, also, World 4 is home to, uh, not the next level, but the level after is a very big auto score level. We're going to ask you to take it fully on for that. Um, there are two auto scrollers in this game, and they are in that level. <laughs> so, And one of them's like a minute and a half. <laughs> but first we have the, uh, the Octoling level here. And, so here uh, we got everybody's favorite map. Mori Towers. I like how we're joking about this. I met someone today who literally said that Mori Towers was their favorite map. <laughs> like, hey, not look, joking. You, you either love it or you hate it. The Splatoon community, the Spearing community hates Mori Towers. Apparently, some people love it. <laughs> so, someone said this was their favorite map, and I just was like, okay. Cool. Well, apparently, like, one of the reasons why it was brought back for Splatoon 2 is because, uh, like, the Japanese community really liked it. Yeah. Possibly also uh, for the map in Smash Brothers. That is also true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but because of that, this is definitely the, the longest uh, yeah. level. Thankfully, it's pretty obvious where you're supposed to go. <laughs> There's only really one path you can do for I this mean, one. I mean, first you go down, then you go up. <laughs> yeah. 
what what goes down must come up. Yeah. I was taught that. Hopefully you don't you don't splat. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. But there we go, yeah. Again, under a minute. <laughs> that was actually still pretty good for still being very sloppy. Again, that, I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. I noticed a few spots, but I, that's like something I would take. I am a much worse runner at this game. <laughs> I think I have like a 148. <laughs> so our estimates much better than my PB. <laughs> All right, this is level 20. Uh, this is the first and only time that we'll be seeing the Brella weapon. Yeah, also, I was completely wrong. It's the level after this. <laughs> That's the auto yeah, level. That, the, the level yeah. after this one is the auto scroller. We are getting the Brella here. Uh, really fun fact about the Brella uh, it wasn't included in the online multiplayer at launch for Splatoon 2. Uh, the first place you could actually see it was in the single player. Um, Splatoon 1 actually kind of did the same sort of thing. Uh, there was a map, uh, Bluefin Depot. That wasn't in it at launch, and uh, it was in the single player. So they, and Nintendo kind of likes to tease you guys, uh, tease the community a little bit. Uh, they didn't do that with Splatoon 3, I think, um, but uh, they did it with Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. Got a couple more flutters here. Yeah, thankfully they are secluded from everything else. <laughs> All right, that was a bit of a sketchy jump because that flutter did just not want to come forward. Yeah. Uh, so we have to go out of our way uh, to get those uh, um, those uh, those two pathways. Uh, yeah. So there's two yeah. keys. Yeah, two uh, keys. Yeah. There's two different pathways we got to go down. This one has invisible platforms, but I played this game so many times, I can't. Obo kind of knows where he's going in this. Yeah. So I, <laughs> I can't believe you played this game before. I'm shocked. Really? You, 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 you this, can't believe it at all. This is a all. blind playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wrong broker, record pace, and it's a blind playthrough. Wow, you're really good at games. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm a master. We also... Uh, that is so true! <laughs> at Oboe's, that is. Yeah. And this game. And, the, <laughs> and Splatoon. <laughs> So we are going to have another skip coming up using these fans. We're supposed to uh, unlock another fan uh, to get enough height to get up to the uh, to the zap fish. But uh, once again, another instance where this is going to look a lot easier than it actually is. <laughs> there you go. All right. That was pretty good. You don't know how hard it is to aim that umbrella so that it actually hits the fan. <laughs> like, And you have to jump off yeah, the platform have, a little yeah. bit uh, or else in order you won't to reach have enough it. range. Yeah. So, uh, welcome to what I like to call donation level. <laughs> uh, um, the next level. I didn't unlock it. You, uh, what? Oh my gosh, I'm not. I'm not doing very well. That's right. Extra, extra level. time to get your donations e in for yeah. the donation reading <laughs> level. Exactly. A lot of this is writing on. Uh, uh, there's one part which is one auto scroller where we're we're going to be writing on a rail, uh, just you know practicing oh, wow. our sharp shooting skills uh and then the end is literally just riding on a platform for a good minute go. and a half so Pretty those cool two guy. spots are all you <laughs> yeah so it's pretty much about two minutes of auto scrollers and not much else so it's true take it away all right let's it's, uh, it's bring it so first of all um thank you so much to sam sulek who has donated 40 dollars uh and has put that towards a goose butt shirt so, uh, yeah, number one coming your way. Thank you very much for that uh, donation. Absolutely amazing. Um, Alk Safe has donated $15. Thank you so much. And uh, has put that towards the Extreme Measures 4 uh, incentive for Hades coming up tomorrow. So, thank you very much for that donation. And we have $8.88. From DJ Octavio. Oh no. <laughs> hey, Obo. DJ Octavio here. I have received your request for this fabled entity called Good RNG. <laughs> I've never heard of it before yeah. from you. <laughs> I can pass that on. I can, <laughs> I can pass that on to my supervisor, Callie, and we'll see what we can do for you. Also, in fact, did you know that the Shiver Arena shrinks every phase? That is true. Is, I like every, is everybody going to comment on that? <laughs> every every comments from the Splatoon community is going to be about Shiver. <laughs> I'm learning so much about this game. For example, I've learned a fun fact about the Shiver Arena. That is yeah. true. You, I, I mean, I'll, tell, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it is later. That's not even in this game. 
that, that's, that's in, in a the, different that's game. That's in Splatoon 3. Yeah, I know. That's, that's how good the learning is. Also, yeah. yeah, that was a... I think you... Uh, do you want to like commemorate this uh, this moment? You are doing a run at ESA. Uh, we're, I mean, we're doing a very important part right here. You want to take a picture? I mean, I I have a hand free because I just have to hold down one button for the next. Yeah, 30 audience, seconds. you wanna you wanna get in on the photo? Like, yeah. <laughs> here, do you want to take a selfie? Because I yeah. think you had a better angle. Why not? Yeah, I think I, I think I can get us all in there. <laughs> are we all there? Okay. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> you want to get into? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, oh, commemorate the occasion. Yeah, I'll get this side now, too. All right, all right yeah, get the honest, but be quick, we're running out of time. Perfect. All, all right, awesome. awesome. All right. And we made it just in time. We had enough time to take two selfies before this ended. I mean, why not? It's uh, valuable speed tech. Exactly. Presumably, it's, you guys were manipulating our manipulation. manipulation. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make that joke, but you made it first. <laughs> You beat me to it. I, I've been speedrunning a little time. Wow, this would be pretty crazy. And no time was lost. Yeah. You always got to find a time for a selfie in your speedruns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. That's why I exclusively speedrun games that uh, uh, have selfie uh, opportunities in them. Exactly. So, thankfully, that was the most boring level out of the way. <laughs> I'm also glad I didn't Tones Balloons it and die at the, and the, die at the very end. Shout out to Tones. <laughs> In his uh, first, the first marathon showing of this game, he died on that auto-scroller and did it again. <laughs> so, so right. um, we got level 19. Ooh, not a fan. <laughs> yeah, this is the longest level of the game. Uh, Surprisingly, it wasn't the, the last one. one. <laughs> Yeah, so if you thought going down two different pathways to collect two different keys was fun, how about three different pathways to three different keys? But wait, there's more. <laughs> and now we got Ooh. the blaster. Oh, boy. Yeah. And we got the blaster, which is only going to be used for this one level. Um, but it does make an impression, uh, as in no one wants to play with it again. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not a fan of the I'm blaster. I'm not a fan of the blaster either. I, I, it has its fans for competitive. I respect that. It's just not me. <laughs> for speedrunners, it's a different story. Again, we run 1,000%. Playing levels with the blaster isn't fun. No. It's just, it's got a very bad fire rate. It's got some power to it, but... It's got some... We need fire rate and we need a mobility, and this doesn't really have either, though. Yeah. So, we, uh... Well, while we go through this, because we're just going through like three separate sections here, I'm actually going to explain why it's called 1000%. Uh, it, it's called that because uh, on your Nintendo mobile app, which you can download on iOS or Android, um, uh, yeah, get for <laughs> free, uh, it tracks your progress of the single player. And it tracks, uh, it tells you your percentage of how much you've completed. And for some reason, when you. Uh, uh, it gives you 100% for every weapon and also all the collectibles. So that adds up to 1,000% because that's good math. <laughs> and <laughs> so uh, that's why we called uh, the category that. So again, thank you, Nintendo, for naming it something really weird. <laughs> and that's why we have all collectibles and then 1,000% <laughs> for this game. <laughs> this is a pretty complicated section. I'm going to be... Uh, getting a bunch of switches here. Yeah. So we're actually going to ink half of the switch. And then doing uh, a little bit of a uh, trick here. So half of the switch is inked. Pause, unpause, and then it inks completely. Uh, by that, we kind of manipulate the game in, and tricking the game into thinking that uh, the switch is fully inked. As long as, like, I think it's like 75% or like 80% of it is inked. Uh, you just pause and unpause and the rest well fills up. So. Well, if 80% of the switch is inked, then it activates, but you can just, you, you can pass with about like 30%. Yeah. So. <laughs> there, there are times when I do not think I'm capable of using pause glitch, but it still, it still works. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, okay. And, and we have here's the speechy. best section in the game. We have another screechie, and not only do we have one, but we have like three of them. <laughs> and they're all trying to chase down enemies. Thankfully, they're easier to manipulate because we have the blaster. Um, but that doesn't make it any less annoying. <laughs> no, the, CG, the squeeze can still be extremely uncooperative. But you handled at times, it like a pro, but so we're that good. worked very well, so I'm happy about that. Nice. And yeah. Oh like, my god, that was actually a really good level 19 yeah. time as well. I'm happy with that. Are you not Thank just you. are you not just saying that for us? <laughs> no, I'm actually being honest. Okay, okay. <laughs> and uh, now we move on to our next boss. A lot of a lot of people when they start running this game, this is their least favorite boss because it's really hard to get the hang of. 
it's it's still pretty hard with top strats as well uh, because you have to be very precise with the uh, with the charger. Um, but a lot of people will say like this casually was their least favorite boss, right? For sure. Yeah, this is a kind of a level where it's the exact opposite of Octo Samurai. It's quote unquote easier with the charger, but hard on every other weapon. Oh my god, yeah, the, the dualies on this one is something else. <laughs> yeah, because the range is horrible. It's a wild goose chase. But thankfully, we got the charger. Um, so the only difficulty is basically have to snipe all the octocopters that are holding Octo Shower. Yeah, and uh, like we're gonna try to get them before they move. Uh, later on, they're gonna start moving around. Um, so we're gonna try to get them before they move away. But um, thankfully, we have backup strats in case they do. <laughs> First phase is not too bad, but two and three are a bit precise because I need, I'm going to try to shoot the first three octocopters uh, before Octoshower runs away and yeah. starts to do his like charge attack. And while he's doing that, I'm going to try to snipe the uh, the fourth one. Yeah. That's the quick kill that they can get. Yeah, that's that, that one's hard because it's like doing a moving shot, so... With motion controls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, nice. nice. That was the first one. <laughs> we have to do that again. <laughs> yeah, and now, and now for phase three, the uh, the octopus are, are going to be faster. And for some reason, you can skip that cutscene, even though we didn't watch it already. But okay. <laughs> nice. Yeah. As long as you hit this. Nice. nice. All right, nailed it. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good fight. Love to see it. Good. Yeah, let's see the per uh, the two quick kills for sure. And that's world four. Let's see. World five is definitely the the biggest. Uh, the biggest and we, most. We have to, you know, <laughs> it take long as to take to get to that one. So we got time for a couple of donations. Yeah. Alright, fantastic. Uh, thank you very much. Puts twelve for the five dollar donation. Much appreciated. Um, all going to an absolutely fantastic cause. Um, as I said, you've uh, got so many options if you want to put in your donations uh, now. You can put it towards if you've put in uh, $40 uh, towards either of the two main t-shirts that um, we have put up. Uh, the, uh, the lovely honking goose shirt that you see being displayed by our wonderful audience there and uh, by Goosebert uh, or the ESA Winter 24 t-shirt. Uh, both of them are $40 and you uh, will also be put in automatically for the draw to win a couple of our prizes, including the Switch. If you fancy uh, running this game yourself, $25. Um, you'll be in with a chance to win a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, so uh, now we're moving on to World 5. World 5 has some, again, it's like, they get bigger and bigger in scale with the, the world design and stuff like that. We have a bunch of moving platforms. We're gonna be jumping around on them. Um, and specifically uh we're gonna try really hard to uh to skip some of them <laughs> as much as we can i also inked that little space right there for uh, a particular reason that we'll see you later so remember that yeah um uh, but this is the first level level 23 uh, i'm just gonna shoot it from below because it's rotating and when it's unlocked we can super turn it and it automatically rotates upwards so we can enter the level yeah and this is another uh, dually level where we're going to be on a bunch of uh, ink rails. So. This is arguably everybody's favorite level. A lot of people love this level. Yeah. <laughs> this is a pretty fun level. Pretty fun. It's called the Octo Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this game actually like has a lot of similarities with Mario Galaxy just because of, like, you know, you have a bunch of, like, different... Um, "Quote unquote planets," in, not in this case, but um, that you can go to, and then you go to uh, you launch to other ones with like launch pads and stuff like that for each level. So all kind of connected in a way. <laughs> and once again, with just like before with dualies, um, making sure to dodge roll on the uh, on the railing, taking that uh, hit because there's a checkpoint right after. Yeah, there's a lot of times we can, we can damage boost through a checkpoint because your armor uh, instantly gets uh, reestablished. Yeah. I'm just going to go down here because it's faster. Yeah. I mean, I don't know about Mario oh, Galaxy, no, but I'm I definitely getting a lot of uh, Sonic Adventure vibes. <laughs> <laughs> that is fair. <laughs> I, I do feel like, cause, you know, you're jumping through rings here. Yeah. Yeah. Jumping through rings, grinding on rails, yeah. mm. gotta go fast. 
Yeah, that that uh, those those rail skips he did uh, was kind of like the ones in uh, in World uh, World Two, but <laughs> that one Nintendo actually gave you like like rings to jump through, so you know the timing. <laughs> oh, I miss that. Oh dang. That's, that's the section right there. You have to time your dodge roll just right. I'm just going to play it safe this time. It's going to do a simple jump. Yeah. And then, yeah, there's just this big rail section where, like, you're connecting from rail to rail. And now we get these big three long ones that we're going to end off on. Uh, What's funny is this level is almost identical when it comes to NG+, uh, yeah. compared to any percent, because you're using the same weapon. Because grind, uh, grind road levels like this are like are really only fastest with um, uh, with dualies. Yeah. If you do it with any other weapon, it's basically an auto scroller. Uh, All right. So now we are going from one of the best levels to one of the worst levels. Not only is it like one of the worst levels, the way to unlock it is it's pretty hard. It is. We're going to be doing an extremely precise uh, jump and shot with the charger. I'll let you uh, focus for this. Yeah. I'm gonna have to lean in because I have a very extreme visual cue here. Got it. Nice. So. Okay. <laughs> that skips uh, a lot of platforming to get over there. <laughs> yeah, I was a bit worried about that because you really have to like look through the the fog there to uh, to identify the invisible kettle. Uh, the way we would do that before is we would just basically just throw a bomb, die, and then go back and throw another bomb. But with uh, this, we can basically just one cycle it, and it saves about 20 seconds. Another lover hater uh, weapon. We got the brush. <laughs> Again, thankfully, you only have to use it once. <laughs> yeah. This weapon is not too bad. It's not the worst, but, but it's not my favorite. <laughs> this, the, the level that we're giving it on, that's a different story. That's fair. <laughs> this level throws everything at you. We got invisible platforms here. Yeah, literally like just a, uh, a collaboration of a bunch of stuff from other levels from before. <laughs> uh, right here, we're just going to skip going down this, uh, uh, down on the left here by yeah, just falling gonna, down here. fall off from here. Nice, landed right on it. <laughs> yeah, position that going on just right. We got a Tenakuk here, our old friends from level 11. And on invisible platforms. Yeah, and this this guy, just, if you don't kill him in a specific way, he will go forever. <laughs> All right, well, we yeah. got him. So we didn't jump down there because uh, when he's flying down to the spot below, if you kill him in the air, he will uh, spawn the key in the last ground that he touched. So that was at the top. So yeah, you don't want to jump down. Either. Yeah, because then you have to like take a grind round goal all the way back. Yeah. And here we got a pretty annoying uh, fight section. Have to. I kill it. Ooh. This is a little dangerous. Okay, yeah, you I got, got, I got, that, I got right, that armor. Yeah, right in time. <laughs> All right, that's a bit messy, but it can be like that sometimes. All right, and uh, if this level wasn't worse enough, we still we have a uh, another squeegee section. Oh boy! Yay! <laughs> Oh, oh nice. no, okay, we're good. No, no it's all right, we're fine. We're, we're, oh, Take yeah. it nice we're, we're safe. slow. <laughs> we're okay, that was an okay time for me to break my armor. All right, so yeah, we have these big squeegees. We're gonna use, uh, thankfully we got this uh, sp uh, curling mom special here, so we're gonna use that to our advantage. And uh, yeah, thankfully that went pretty well. <laughs> yeah, squeegees are being nice today, I, I, and I, I really like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we only have a uh, yeah four more levels left, and then the the final boss. The final boss uh, is like ten minutes long though, so. <laughs> so we're gonna have a big RNG party. Yeah. It also has some really good music when uh, when we get to the last phase. The music is pretty bop in. So here I'm actually going to switch to the uh, not that one. That there we go. I'm going to switch into the splat lane here because it's going to be helpful for unlocking the next level. Yeah, we're going to ink up a, a wall that we're going to climb up to get to it. I'm just going to ink the side of this platform right here. Nice. And then uh, hit these switches, which will activate them. And then just a perfect path to climb up there. This is also a pretty annoying level, so. 
It's also good because that platform kind of like that goes back down. So uh, because we have a pathway, we can get up to that level in time before uh, it levels down. Yeah. And we miss it. <laughs> So this is a pretty annoying level. <laughs> we have more bowling balls. Uh, we have Rodeo this time. So that's good. <laughs> and we have uh, moving platforms as well. Yeah, and uh, not only that, we're going to be introduced to... Uh, we're not introduced. We saw this earlier. But we have those, uh, those drums that we can hit, and they will move platforms as well. Uh, and trying to hit those with the, the roller is not fun. <laughs> like, I just jumped off the edge. <laughs> Oh, that's going to be a little close. Okay. <laughs> oh, I could have made that, but it's all right. Yeah. Play it safe. Sometimes I thought you were going to not have enough, like, I thought you were going to get a wall jump there for a second. <laughs> no. I also try to get to the end of this platform before it tips over. Should be good. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. This is another instance where it's just a lot of global cycles. Splatoon 2 really dialed that up compared to Splatoon 1. Like, it has some global cycles in it, uh, but not as many as this game. <laughs> Dude, luckily we don't have to deal with uh, cycles anymore. Yeah. Now, we, we do have these uh, those drum switches, yeah, which we... are somewhat in our control. So Yeah, we did grab the... Uh, we have the, um, the Rain Cloud special, which is actually going to be very helpful here. We're going to... Uh, drop it down uh, underneath this bridge, uh, and that's gonna completely do all the inking on the drum for us. <laughs> so, ah, uh, get up there. Oh god, oh, that might not be good. Me. Okay, I'm coming through. Excuse me, pardon me. <laughs> all right, careful of this. All right, we're fine. We're fine. We're all good. Took a did a nice little uh, exchange with the with the bowling ball there, but we're good. We're just giving him a nice like friendly uh, friendly like friend bump. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a fist bump. <laughs> uh, so I actually preemptively inked this little space right here on the floor just so I can make this cycle right here. There we go. Perfect. Very nice. <laughs> if you don't make that, uh, you have to uh, wait for another cycle. Yeah. As soon as you exit that last level, you have about, like, you have literally, like, a half second window <laughs> to, to make it. You really just have to book it. Once again, bombs are our best friend to unlock uh, levels, <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm glad I was able to unlock that level this time. Yeah. Because uh, I have. Yeah, the bomb unlocks have not been nice today. No, they haven't. <laughs> to be fair, when you hit a kettle, sometimes the bomb will like knock off the corner of it. So I think that's what happened. Yeah, and the the bomb has to like land right next to the um, the level for it to do full damage. If it's a little bit too off to the side, then uh, it does significantly less damage, and so you have to like throw another one. Yeah. So uh, this is another instance with the the spotling gun. Uh, we're also going to be using the um, the rain cloud yet again uh, for um, another drum section uh, because not only does it uh, uh, you know ink the drum for us, uh, but it also uh, refills our ink as well when we use specials. So that's going to be very uh, very helpful. And yeah, I think uh, I think at least until the end of the level, we have some some time for donations. If you want to go ahead, all right, fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, apologies because I'm inevitably going to mispronounce this, but uh, Choose or Seuss um, has donated forty dollars um, with a comment that just says "Bonsoir de France." So uh, thank you very much for that. That's gone towards the ESA Winter T-shirt, and uh, I think this is now also a very good time to shout out to our various restreams. Uh, I know this uh, donation came in specifically for this stream, but we are uh, restreaming our français, our Deutsch, and probably some other languages. Um, I'm very bad at all of them. Uh, German but too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> um, so yeah. Uh, do go and uh, check those out if you uh, fancy seeing some uh, commentary in different languages or yep, stick around for here, for here because with the uh, commentary has been excellent so far and continues to do so. So like we said right here, we're using the, the rain cloud on the on the drum just so we don't have to do it ourselves. <laughs> yeah, makes that section a bit easier and faster. Yeah, and it also, we don't have the ink to do that with our gun alone. <laughs> yeah, because the, as the platform starts turning, you, you, know, you kind of want to prioritize staying on it rather than shooting yeah. the switch. That would be good. <laughs> yeah. All right, so here I'm just going to wait for this uh, platform here. Yeah, the red one. There you go. Catch the bus. 
At least for that one, you don't have to book it. Yeah. <laughs> the last one. And now we're just going to wait very patiently. There we are. <laughs> and then I'm going to unlock the final two levels here. Yes, yeah, so we're going to unlock this one, uh, which is just, oh, just barely in range for us to hit with a splatling, and then unlock this one and go inside. But this is level 24. This is probably the most chokeable level of late game, just because it's uh, it's pretty precise. It's pretty hard, yeah. We've got these uh, cycles that they're not global, but they basically start moving as soon as you approach them. Yeah. When you get to a certain spot, yeah. This one, this part right here is a little tight. Gotta ink up this wall and make the oh, jump. No. Um, it's, I mean, yeah, thankfully we start back here, but it is going to be moving. Yeah, the, um, the ink so spray was upsetting. not nice to me there. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's really tight to hit, so. But there's another little one I'm going to try to get here. Very nice. nice. That was good. Yeah. I, you can shoot that uh, enemy and also ink the side of the wall at the same time. All right, and once again, we're just going to make sure we're at the orb count that we need to be at. We're at 780. Again, we need 800. We're definitely going to hit it, <laughs> but just in case. And then uh, this platform won't raise until we kill both enemies, so we leave that guy uh, for good measure. All right, there's another little skip I'm trying to do here. Oh, I didn't. Oh, uh, dang. All right, that's okay. Back up. Yeah, you can make the... the the earlier cycle there, um, if uh, the inkling was actually able to climb up. <laughs> so right here we have to hit all these switches. Uh, we can actually just hit this one on the ground by just putting a bomb down next to it instead of like breaking the box. My first one was a little short there. Yeah. And then just gonna make sure we cover all sides of this cube. And uh, yeah, there's also one on top as well. So we're gonna throw a bomb up there too. And the key spawns right here and also attention to physics uh, uh the fact that this actually like works like physics normally would uh the curling bomb here is going to go into towards the middle uh, of that turning platform so good job you, yeah you did science nintendo i'm proud of you yeah <laughs> all right we got one level left one level yeah boss. and it's a short one <laughs> it's another octoling it's an octoling level uh, but yeah like we said right before the final boss we are going to uh launch back to world one one more time because uh, we're going to upgrade uh, to the level 2 hero shot. Uh, a common mistake of everybody's first run of this game is not upgrading it, <laughs> and it makes the boss 10 times harder. I also intentionally switched to duelies because you do not want to play the Arclane levels with anything other than duelies. Yeah. Because <laughs> thankfully, the, these are the only levels that you can actually choose which weapon uh, you want to play with. Yeah, and this is uh, the map uh, Muscle Forge Fitness. So. And this is like this one just always seems in the rotation <laughs> in Splatoon 2 when it was uh, when online was still uh, popular. <laughs> I believe the subtitle, at least in English, for this level is actually "Forge Those Muscles." <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Throw a bomb there. That oh okay. Oh, that's okay. We're fine. Yeah, trying to I that bomb was supposed to. Not only destroy uh, the barrier for that zapfish, but also uh, that toxic mist. Uh, but it spawned in afterwards. <laughs> yeah, I, I had to throw it a little bit late because I didn't have enough ink. Yeah. But that's okay. At least it, it still hit the mini zapfish. Because if it didn't, we'd be in more trouble. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, so uh, we are just going to do our last preparation. We also have a cutscene here before the boss. If you want to read off another donation or two, you can go ahead. Cool. Thank you very much. Um, just as a quick uh, reminder, you don't just have to uh, donate to support uh, Make-A-Wish, although obviously you can do, exclamation point donate, go for it. But uh, also uh, Twitch Prime subs and uh, gift subs and regular subs all count towards charity. Every bit of proceeds that we would have got uh, from those uh, from those subs will end up going straight to the charity. There'll be a big uh, donation at the end, so you can support uh, make a wish that way as well. Also through Cheers uh, with a similar, uh, similar scheme. So yeah, please do get those in. Perfect. Yeah. So uh, welcome to the next nine minutes, nine to ten minutes of pure RNG. But real quick, <laughs> remember that spot of ink that I told you about? 
Oh, there it is. We used it. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> you failed me. We did use it. <laughs> we, yeah, no, we did use it. We did use it. It did not help us. Not in the exact way I, I hoped it would, but it's all right. So, uh, I just say it's about five this seconds. This is EJ Octavio. Uh, uh, he is the final boss of uh, Splatoon 1 and Splatoon 2. Uh, not in Splatoon 3. He actually like, turns and helps us in Splatoon 3. Um, but we do fight him in Splatoon 3. In Splatoon 1, no RNG. Completely, uh, like, and there's even, like, speedrun strats that we use that we can, like, ma speed up the fight a lot. It's really cool and really fun. Splatoon 3, no RNG. It's, it, it's completely, uh, 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 determined. This has so much RNG in it. <laughs> like. Yeah, this boss is, uh, it, it's very infamous. Especially in this, uh, this particular Splatoon game. And you may wonder, why is there RNG? Like, if, it, if there's no RNG in the other two versions of this fight, why this one? Well, only in this game is Kali on DJ Octavio's ship. So we blame Kali. <laughs> it's I'm all sorry, her Kali fault. Fans. <laughs> but that is a pretty stark coincidence, so... I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it. <laughs> So yeah, uh, Why, the, remix. <laughs> the Octavio remix. <laughs> so yeah, uh, the way that this fight works, there's three phases, technically four, but three main phases. Uh, we need to hit uh, eight fists back at him, uh, and the fists have to be the shining fists that he is sending right now. Uh, so that's two. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's eight per phase. And uh, he also has the chance to send these uh, spinny fists at us. Uh, we can't hit those back at him. So that's not good. We don't want to see those. I tried to do some fancy movement where you can get the fist to basically kind of fire above you so it retracts faster. Yeah. That's five, I think, actually. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. It might be four. I might have not no, counted. No, no that, that was for uh, he. No, he only for phase one. He only shoots them uh, in doubles. Gotcha. Yeah. You can tell which one is uh, the fifth one because a text box will pop up. Yeah. When he shoots double fist like this, uh, it was gonna throw a bomb down, and that's just so it, it inks up both of them, so we can send them both at the, back at the same time. Oh, looks like we're getting a showerless phase one. That was a good phase one. That yeah. was decent RNG. When, when you don't get the octa shower, that means it was a good phase. <laughs> yeah. Because um. Uh, if, if he doesn't give you enough glowy fist, then eventually he'll do a shower attack, and that takes like five seconds. So at that point, that's when you know that the RNG is not good. <laughs> that's to be similar to phase two as well, so we'll see how we'll do there. Yeah, so yeah, moving on to phase two now. Again, it's pretty much the same thing for all three phases. He adds in a few different attacks um, and different maneuvers, but that same gist, like we need to get eight fists. Nice. Good dancing. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gotta get the schmooze. <laughs> Alright, so now we're at three. Uh, that's a that's not that. good. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> not, not a great. <laughs> that's not RNG I want to see. Come, Come on. Come on, Kali. Work with us. <laughs> Kali and Octavia. <laughs> Look, Octavia donated and said he was going to be nice to us, so. The first phase. I think he lied. Did work. <laughs> I think he lied. <laughs> well, he said it after boss Kali. That is true. Yeah. So, yeah, we need we need to hear from Kali. <laughs> so now we're at five. Yeah, I think we're getting a shower here. Yep. Yeah, that's a shower attack. Yeah. So I that's that's the shower that we thankfully dodged in the first phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I try to keep it on the side there just to give it uh, uh, less range for it, less room for it to work. Uh, there's the double spinny bus. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's there that's good. Go. That's what we like to see. Okay, that's seven. All right, just need one more. One more will do. We're just gonna send out these guys first. <laughs> oh, that's uh, not good. Come on. Come on. <laughs> and hopefully. Okay, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> And shoot Octavia back. All right, one more uh, yeah. ground phase, and then before uh, the run ends, we do have to do uh, one phase up above where we're going to be using the Rainmaker. So, yeah, I feel like some people like looked at us entering the final boss and be like, wow, they're really underestimated. <laughs> and then the boss is like 10 minutes long. <laughs> 10 minutes if we're generous. Yeah. <laughs> 
and with how that pay per, uh, with how that phase two went, I'm guessing it's gonna be a no, <laughs> more like eleven. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe we'll get a perfect phase three. You never know. Yeah, it could always happen. Starting to feel like Octavio needs to make another donation as an apology for that. So. <laughs> Wait, do we actually? <laughs> well, no, it's not. It's not coming in. O o I mean, Octavio. Oh, come okay. On, I thought, I thought you were like, sort this out, man. We have a donation from DJ Octavio. Just saying, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, not yet. I think from that phase two alone, I think he owes it to us. Yeah. We we own a we own a we we, we deserve a gift basket for that one, honestly. Yeah. Oh, come on, that's not good either. <laughs> not a good start. <laughs> Do do have another one in from someone else? Let's see, maybe I can. Find oh yeah, if you want to. Uh, yeah, Kali has donated seven dollars and seventy-seven cents, <laughs> saying, "Hey there, Robo. Upon further inspection, I've decided that there's not much we can really do at the moment." Ah, <laughs> oh, dang it! However, I believe you're adept enough to work with what we can provide. Best wishes. Not adept enough? That was a, that was a reference. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Splatoon community. Very, right? very, very cunning reference. I like how as soon as Kali sends a donation, we get two double fists. By the way, yeah. so. <laughs> That actually ended up working out better in our favor. <laughs> so I think we're, are we at six? I think we're at six. We're at seven? Okay, thank you, audience. Yeah. Perfect. No, that, 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 no, that was eight. That was so eight. you both were wrong. No, 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 that, we were on seven. Oh, you're we on seven. Eight. Okay, yeah. I thought you said this was, uh, okay. All right, cool. So we have, uh, is, it's eight more fists, right? Yep, so, yep. Yeah. final so phase, it's still eight more fists, uh, but for this we, uh, the gameplay changes a little bit. The music it, changes it, a little bit. I mean, yes, that too. <laughs> Audience, want to want to clap along and go for it? <laughs> Hell yeah! This is a banger. Splatoon is known for its really good music. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm actually. Is it weird that I'm well, I'm excited for most of Sidor's music? I'm very excited for that too. Because <laughs> I love Splatoon 3 soundtrack. Splatoon 3 soundtrack is really good, especially the 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 final boss soundtrack. <laughs> So for this one, we're going to be the <laughs> Rainmaker. Yeah, get, get your uh, your jam emotes in chat. This is the time. Right. Everyone get jamming. It's time for a dance party. Hell yeah. Good luck. You got this. <laughs> oh, you're actually going to do it? All right. <laughs> you go for it. I'm gonna stay here because I had to hit time, so. <laughs> yeah, I am gonna need you for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also gonna be uh, jumping uh, here. Shout out to the crowd. <laughs> I just see you guys up on the screen. <laughs> Thank you, crowd, for committing to the dance party. <laughs> I appreciate you all. Committing to what we can't. <laughs> we have a couch that's in the way. <laughs> Also, uh, yeah, like like Obo was mentioning, we're we're jumping on purpose to line ourselves up for the end, because uh, a rail's gonna spawn. Yeah, I'm gonna put him. I'm just gonna make it so the rail will spawn right next to me. Yeah. And time is gonna be uh, coming up when we uh, slam the ram maker down right on uh, Octavia as soon as it's basically set. Yeah, it's people over. are coming in jamming. <laughs> All right. Your hands gotta be tired at some point from this <laughs> audience. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna get ready on time. All right, so All right. we're gonna have to wait for the for the railing, yeah. but <laughs> I got I got some uh, early RNG, so that did affect me. One thirty two is pretty good for a marathon. See, I don't even have to do anything either. And time. time. There we go. One thirty two, thirty two. Look, the perfect. That's thirty two, thirty two. <laughs> Love that. That's a. Uh, that's that's world record actually I think. Oh my right? god, that's world record! <laughs> in uh, if it was five minutes tw faster. Twenty eighteen. <laughs> that is world record if it was five minutes faster. <laughs> we probably got someone with that. I hope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but that's Splatoon two. Uh, we we're are we done yet? Do, uh, well, do we, well, do do we hit the? Do we, we hit the incentive? <laughs> yeah. Give me a. D does anybody have any? Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Did we hit the incentive for Octo expansion? Yeah. Yep. All okay. right. We're doing Octo. Sounds like a yep awesome. to me. Let's cool. go. So thank you for everybody who donated for this. We're going to be showing off uh, a smaller, like probably the smallest category of Octo expansion, just to give you a little taste of it. 
But um, it's pretty fun, though. Yeah. Uh, it's about 10 minutes long. We're basically going to do uh, four, all four of the, um, the, the main Metro bosses uh, and finishing up with the infamous uh, Inner Agent 3 fight. Yeah, which is basically... A much like, better final boss than Octavia, by it the way. Is a very it's a very fitting final boss, too, because it, it ends with a really hard boss fight. Uh, it's, Splatoon 3 actually ends with a really hard level, uh, kind of like a Kaizo level. This one just has a really hard boss at the end. <laughs> so what will we get inside order is what I want to know. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do a timer for this one. So if we can reset the timer, yeah, that'd be good. Uh, by the way, for this. Thank you. Yeah, let me know when. Yeah, it's basically oh. just going to be when I enter the first stage. Yep. All right, ready? And three, two, one, go. Cool. Applause. <laughs> yes, applause for me, please. Thank you. Please clap. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, like we said, we're some of these fights we've already seen before, uh, starting off with this one. We've already seen this one already. Well, we've already seen the, the first four of these, basically. They're just the same vases that we saw in uh, Hero Mode, but they're a bit more... More challenging. Extreme. Yeah. A bit more challenging. More challenging. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be using different weapons uh, that are going to make it a little bit more interesting, to say the least, <laughs> uh, when we get to Samurai specifically. Oh, okay. oh you just got toasted. Yeah. <laughs> nice one. That was oh, not I even meant to be a pun. <laughs> I just meant to general. Oh, oh, I knew that was going to happen. You got a bit unlucky there. That's yeah. right. We're gonna do it again. Yeah, it's all right. Second verse, same as the first. <laughs> just, just, just warming up a bit. Yeah, we're, we're gonna set the the uh, the toaster oven to <laughs> to preheat. <laughs> That's not how you use a toaster oven. I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh man, broke your oh, thing again. Not that, oh, oh no, not, not again. <laughs> like yeah. we said, this is harder. And when it's you extreme. yeah, when you uh, when you actually like defeat the tentacle, like you're still vulnerable, as you just saw there. So we we gotta worry about that. If your armor breaks, it's very bad. That's why they give us five lives for this. <laughs> All right. All right, third time's a charm. Nice, okay. <laughs> That's phase one. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to do better for phase two. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know why, but the only thing I read out of that text was just Kiwi in that text <laughs> message. <laughs> You're too slow. <laughs> My bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that was good timing. <laughs> Please forgive me. Okay, good. Okay, we forgot first try phase two. I so. was a little worried that your armor was going to break there. <laughs> yeah, and more, more and more enemies get added each time, so it, it makes it more uh, more difficult to break your armor. We didn't mention this in the original fight, but we actually uh, take a da uh, damage there on purpose. It skips uh, him spinning around with those uh, with those ink walls, um, so it saves a, a good amount of the boss fight. Yeah, I guess the boss fight just kind of takes pity on you, Yeah. so we're going to use that to our advantage because it's faster. I also use that time to um, get rid of one of those uh, those ink walls here and those charger enemies. So I can oh, use that's not No, good. we're fine. We're okay. fine. We're fine. <laughs> I forgot they disappear after that one. That's the first one done. First of five. But yeah, the uh, the main the main part of this is gonna be the the end of it with Inner Region Three. That was like when this when Octo Expansion came out. It was. Very hard to beat it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely did not beat it on the first try. <laughs> yeah, I don't think many people did. No. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, Tones Balloons made a wonderful tutorial uh, that is very easy to uh, uh, to understand uh, all the phases and uh, makes it a little bit more uh, uh, easy to access if you want to speedrun uh, uh, any category that has it. So, uh, welcome to Octostomp again, uh, but this time we're using the Bamboozler. <laughs> yeah, so Bamboozler is kind of the high-risk, high-reward weapon here. It is faster, but it's definitely not easy because it's a more precise, as you saw uh, just then. Yeah, we can, uh, well, we can also we shoot the, yeah. the tentacle as well. Shoot it from the ground. But this is definitely the most annoying boss fight of this run, just because this boss fight can really drag on, because instead of one buckle, we now have three buckles to deal with. Yeah, and on all sides of them. Come on, buddy. There you go. And also, Octo Stomp's behavior is a lot more sporadic this time. Yeah, he's just moving all over the place. Yeah. Uh, we 
right for his turn here. Then I already got that one. I need to get the front one. Yeah, the front one. That was the only one. <laughs> yeah, the front one's the hardest because, yeah, it's constantly moving. Yeah. Especially when he does this now because the bubbles are going to be blocking it. Yeah. That should be there good. Go. All right, nice. Yeah. <laughs> And once again, wait for him to stomp down and hit it from the bottom. Nice. Good. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we'll do a second uh, stomp there. Yeah. Here I'm, I'm going to kind of use some NG plus strats to uh, get some early hits for that, uh, that buckle there. Always going to do another charge. All right. Nice. I mean, get right. some free shots in on him. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh boy. Oh, yep. that's not good. <laughs> okay, I thought he was gonna stomp again yeah, there. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have not uh, been I, good. <laughs> I, I, I was prepared to retreat to the the lower ledge yeah, there. Yeah, fair. I'm actually gonna go to the side here just so I can kind of stay clear of those bubbles. Yeah. If he if he shoots the bubbles, they'll blow up and. If one blows up, they all do, usually. Oh, more bubbles. <laughs> all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right, and one more, one more tentacle hit here, all right. There, nice. we, go. there we go, okay. <laughs> all right. All right, yeah. there's I, that I one. promise the other ones are not gonna be as long as that one. Yeah, that one's definitely the longest. <laughs> yeah. That's usually the make or break boss of uh, this run. Yeah. Because uh, the first one is pretty consistent if you don't. You know, if you don't die, die twice. twice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here we have Octo Samurai. Uh, we did this with the roller before. Uh, arguably, I think I hate it more with the baller, but. <laughs> I, I'm going to agree with you on that. This is somehow even This was more an interesting grueling. choice <laughs> for this one. But yeah, Octo Expansion was released uh, a, basically pretty much like a year after uh, Splatoon 2 was released um, as a uh, paid DLC, the first paid DLC uh, Splatoon series ever got. Um, and it was a lot bigger than any of us expected it to be. And uh, not oh, only hello. that, they took a lot of the criticisms uh, that uh, Splatoon 2's hero mode had and uh, kind of, uh, you know, addressed them in this. Thanks. That was good. Good first phase. I got a little push back there. Each phase is not really too different. Yeah. So you really your best strategy is to just get in as many hits as you possibly can, and don't get knocked off. <laughs> That's very important. Yeah. Like I almost did. Yeah, get, like getting lawn mode off the side from him <laughs> there. <Yeah. laughs> cool. Oh yeah. Yeah, the knockback is crazy with a baller. <laughs> yeah, that's why I usually try to kind of like... Stay uh, towards the inside. <laughs> yeah, stay towards the inside. So if I do get knocked back, I won't uh, get knocked off the map. Yeah, just like that. Like, it only sends it to like the middle there. Instead of off the edge. <laughs> and there we go. Yeah, we have to we have to bump into it twice and explode it once <laughs> yes. for, the, for the tentacle. <laughs> All right, and once again, this one, he adds this little charging attack, but it's not too bad. Oh. I want to make sure I didn't <laughs> yeah, you don't hit it. <laughs> run into uh, his uh, weapon there. Yeah. And should be oh, almost, almost good. <laughs> almost just about hit it away. But of course, he's going to run away. All right, that's All good. Right, nice. nice. I think of the three, honestly, this might be my the one I consider easiest, <laughs> but I don't know. I mean, it's so it, annoying. But yeah, it's definitely simple. It, it does go on a bit, but it's pretty simple once you know what you need to do. The next box is probably the most interesting, I would say. Yeah. And this is the one you actually might recognize from the any percent uh, category of Octo Expansion. Yeah. We're doing a uh, Octo Shower, and we get the uh, Inkjet Special which makes this uh, boss fight uh, pretty cool. Um, there are quick kills uh, that I'm going to be going for. They are a bit precise, kind of like the uh, hero mode version. Like the original ones. one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All 
Oh, I just missed it. Dang. It's oh, right. okay. That was still good. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he still stopped pretty quickly. Sometimes he'll kind of like go to the other yeah. side of the map there. All right, let's see if I can get the quick kill here. Oh no, he's uh, he's far away. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit of bad luck there. He has to stay kind of close to the center in order for the quick kill to work. There we go. Hit those. Yeah, at least. Go. That was good. Nice. <laughs> good backup. Hitting those like when they're moving is again, it takes some practice. <laughs> All right, don't run away again, please. That was good. Nice. nice. Okay, go. good. <laughs> Alright, so that's the, the four bosses on the actual, like, um, Metro line. And now uh, it's time to leave the Metro line. And it's time for Inner Region 3, which uh, up until Splatoon 3 was, like, the hardest thing they ever gave us. Uh, I don't... In, after Alterna might be slightly harder. It depends on if you uh, find the platforming harder than the boss fight. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely longer. <laughs> it is longer. <laughs> It's a very long one. Uh, but there are five phases uh, to uh, this fight. And it's basically uh, at the end of Octo Expansion, you fight Agent 3 from Splatoon 1. And uh, this is basically him, but 10 times harder. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when Tone Splunz did for the, his Octo Expansion GDQ run, uh, he got it first try. So that is setting the bar pretty high. So let's see if we can match that. All right, the main thing to note here is taking cover behind uh, these barricades. That is not a good start. <laughs> Dang, yep. okay. Second wow, he destroyed That was a good practice, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was just like, no, you're not doing yeah. it first try. The main thing you have to do is, like, strafe when he's uh, when he's shooting. Like, strafe with him uh, so that he doesn't shoot you. Because his fire rate's pretty high up. <laughs> And uh, if you ever lose your armor, it's it's very hard to uh, to survive. Get over here. There we are. So that, that in my opinion, is like the easiest phase. Yeah. <laughs> One of them. They also have auto bombs too, which can be really annoying. Yeah, and then this is uh, another pretty easy phase. Uh, you do have to worry about uh, Agent Three shooting, but just shoot that auto bombs basically. What makes a, a phase a bit easier is if you pre-ink a lot of the ground, uh, Agent 3 will get stuck in your ink, uh, so that makes uh, uh, attacking them. Yeah, and it's time for final phase here. It's going to be a lot of splashdowns. Uh, this is where it's pretty easy to choke it. <laughs> and I'll get ready on time. <laughs> there, we and, there we go. And... Time. Oh. There you go. All right. <laughs> nice. Second try after a very quick first try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta get the lay of the land first. <laughs> uh, I will honor that for Tones Balloons, who remain the king for first try <laughs> in her Agent Three. But yeah, I think that's it. That's all we have to offer. That I is. guess a quick shout out uh, to the Splatoon speedrun community. Uh, it's a very welcoming, extremely friendly group. Uh, I've been. It's been an absolute joy to be a part of them. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, King J, for being for here. Because sure. <laughs> uh, I've only done one marathon run before. It was at Pace, that pace uh, yeah. uh, last fall. At like 3 uh, in the morning. <laughs> yeah, so to, to go from there to coming out to Sweden here at ESA for the very first time is definitely a big leap. But I've been here for less than 48 hours, and this has already been above and beyond. So thank you to ESA for having me here. Thank you to you guys for, for being here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Chat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. This has been an, an absolute. Yeah. This has been a blessing uh, to to be here. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what to say. Uh, yeah. Thanks I, again for yeah. watching, everyone. I will, I will say I do want to quickly shout out. We are also going to do uh, Splatoon one uh, later. Yeah. yeah on <laughs> later Monday. in the week yeah. on stream two. So yeah. by um, Jay, I'll be commentating. Yeah. For that, so we're so. swapping positions. Yeah. But, um, if you want to see a really broken Splatoon game, uh, that's we we skip t like a good seventy five percent of it. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's a pretty warm So be sure to check that out on Monday. Uh, and yeah. yeah, thanks again. Appreciate you. Yeah. Have a good one, guys. Yeah. <laughs>